Dr. Andy Patterson is going to be talking to us about a brief history of plant genome evolution. So some of my earliest childhood memories uh, are of the fruit and vegetable gardens uh, of my parents and grandparents. Uh, I just couldn't get enough of, uh, of Pop Pop's raspberries, uh, of grandma's applesauce, or of mom's tomatoes. Um, moreover, even as a child, I was fascinated by reading seed catalogs, looking at pages and pages of different cultivars of tomato and cucumber and pepper and different sizes and shapes and colors and properties. Um, uh, this interest in, in plant genetics pervaded my education. As a graduate student, I learned how to breed crop cultivars. As a postdoc, I learned how to apply DNA tools to accelerate breeding of crop cultivars. And my lab has continued in, in these activities, uh, developing and implementing tools for crop improvement in collaboration with breeders of the crops that provide us with our briefs, our currency, our vegetables and oils, our grains, our fibers, and other uh, medicinal uh, uh, products that are essential to, to life. Um, <clears throat> Uh, in the course of this work, we, be, we build up quite a lot of DNA information, eventually building up enough that we could begin to, to literally connect the dots um, between the genomes of, of different organisms, such as our major crops, uh, crops and botanical models, and even begin to make inferences uh, about the nature of the common ancestor of all crops uh, that somehow managed to evade being eaten by a dinosaur 150 million years ago. Um, uh, through the course of this work, um, we found again and again uh, the importance of a phenomenon called polyploidy, uh, which is a genetic accident uh, that results in a genome being multiplied twice or three times or four times or sometimes even five or six times or more, literally overnight. Uh, polyploidy is very common in angiosperms, more common than in any other taxon known, um, uh, even to the point of the, the, the crowning glory, uh, which is canola or brassica napus, uh, that's multiplied its genome 72 times uh, relative to the genome of the common ancestor of, uh, of, of all angiosperms. Um, <clears throat> uh, our ongoing work um, continues to, uh, to, to focus uh, on trying to, to fill in the gaps uh, in this picture of, uh, of angiosperm evolution, connecting more dots from more genomes um, while also continuing to contribute to, to conventional crop improvement. Uh, a particular interest uh, is in studying very recently formed polyploids, uh, where we hope to be able to see literally in real time uh, the process and e processes and events that have given rise to botanical diversity enabling the angiosperms to become the planet's dominant vegetation and also to provide essential ecosystem services. Thank you.